Hi everybody, this is Randy Hale. I'm a watercolor tutor for the water mill and I'm going to bring you a few tips on good painting techniques. So these will be uh, handy little things to keep in mind when you're painting and uh, hopefully you'll find them useful. First tip I wanna talk about is how to get your best placement on your composition for a focal point or a center of interest. When you go out uh, painting outdoors or you're working in your studio, you wanna to try to think about where the best place is to put your center of interest and, and how to really key in on that. And one of the things I tell people is it's good to imagine a, a tic-tac-toe type grid that you overlay across your composition. And any one of those four intersect points becomes really a perfect place for a focal point. Um, as we uh, think about this, everything else in the painting that moves away from that particular focal point then can get a little softer, a little less defined, so that our eye uh, immediately gravitates right to that center point, which is where you want your viewers attention to be focused. I've got four paintings here. I'm going to show them to you individually, but this one here in the, the upper left um, has a tic-tac-toe grid on it, and the focal point is in the upper left. The painting down below here, I've got my tic-tac-toe grid laid out, and I've got the strongest value contrast the, where I have you know the most attention in the painting is in the lower left. If we go to this painting in the lower right, you can see that my value contrast and the most definition, the, the, the uh, most uh, defined edges in my shape are all in the lower right. And if you look at this painting we did a while back, we've got everything with the darkest contrast against the lightest values to give us value contrast in the upper right. But all of these are, are very distinctly off-center. They're not putting our attention right in the middle of the painting. If we were to uh, do a painting that had all of the attention right in the middle, what we're doing is we're putting a big bullseye in the middle of the painting. You see this circle here that I put? It, it just, it's not the best compositional awareness. We want to try to move things off-center. We want to try to be um, working in asymmetri asymmetrical um, patterns. So um, having it a little off center is going to be a much better solution.